Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 155. That is explain waterfall model. Let me answer. Waterfall model is one of the SDLC models. Under SDLC models, we have different models like waterfall model, prototyping model, incremental iterative model, spiral model, V model, agile model, rad model, and big bang model. Waterfall model is one of the SDLC models. So what exactly is this waterfall model? In waterfall model, all the project activities will be performed phase by phase, that is phase after phase. Let me show you a diagram of this waterfall model now. As you can see in this diagram, here, all the project activities in this waterfall model are performed phase by phase, phase after phase. Here, there are several phases, as you can see. Requirement analysis phase, then system design phase, implementation phase, testing phase, deployment phase, and maintenance phase. First requirement analysis phase will be done. After this uh, first phase is completed, then only we'll move to the next phase, that is system design phase. In the requirement analysis phase, all the requirements will be gathered and analyzed, okay? And after all the requirements are gathered and analyzed, then only we'll move to the system design phase where low level designs and high level designs will be designed. So after the system design is completed, then only we'll move to the implementation phase, which is nothing but as a coding phase where the developers will be developing the application code for building the software, okay? After the entire application code is uh, developed and built, it, then only we'll move to the testing phase. Here, the testing will start in the fourth phase. After the coding phase is completed, then the testing phase will start where the entire application will be tested from start to end, okay, by the software testers. After the testing phase is completed, then we'll move to the next phase that is deployment phase, where the software will be deployed into the uh, market, okay, into the production or market uh, where the end users can access the application after deployment. After deployed, after the software has been deployed, then the last phase is maintenance phase where the software will keep on evolving, right? So a lot of new requirements will come and uh, the one the application that has been already released into the market will be uh, updated with a lot of new functionalities over a period of time and uh, here uh, it is considered as a maintenance phase okay this is not the end of the software after deploying the software into the uh, market it's not the end of the software software will still continue if you can see the example of a flipkart or amazon okay those websites uh, in the year 2013 or 14, if you go back and see uh, and compare them with the current version, whatever that you are seeing right now as per today's date or whatever it is for your time, then you can see a lot of difference because the software will keep on evolving and those 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 thing is happening in the term of maintenance phase, okay? The software is getting maintained over a period of years. So these are the several phases of waterfall model where the project activities in this waterfall model are performed phase by phase. After earlier phase is completed, then only the next phase will start. That's what is a waterfall model. Here, this waterfall model resembles the real world waterfall where the water flows from. If you pour the water on this first phase, the water will come down slowly, right? From the upside to the downside, the water will flow, okay? That's why it's named as waterfall model. And it is the oldest SDLC model, guys, okay? Out of all the SDLC models just now I listed down, right? In that waterfall model is the oldest, oldest uh, SDLC model. And uh, so, which is uh, used in suitable projects only. Waterfall model is not suitable for all the projects, okay? In which projects the waterfall model is suitable? In smaller projects, okay? The waterfall model is, uh, which is the oldest SDLC model. Still, it is being used in the projects, but for which type of projects? smaller projects, the projects which generally take not more than six months, right? Such kind of projects only waterfall model is used. Why? Why it's suitable for the smaller projects only? Because here the working product can be seen at the end of the phases only. After completing this uh, deployment or maintenance, right? After completing this deployment phase only, the end users or customers or clients can see the software. Okay, till then they cannot see the software. So you see the, uh, the customers or clients have to wait until all these phases are completed. If you choose this kind of waterfall model for a larger projects, which take more than six months, you see the customers or clients have to wait till the end. For example, if it is taking three years to come finish the project, then 
till three years, uh, the clients have to wait, right? To see the actual uh, working product of the software. That is a there is a too much time. That's why waterfall model is only suitable for smaller projects where the client can wait. Okay, the clients can wait up to six months. That's okay, not more than six months. That's why suitable for smaller projects. And uh, here testing starts only after development phase. One of the drawback of this waterfall model is testing starts after the coding phase is completed, implementation phase is completed. Okay, and not from the beginning. Testing is not starting from the beginning. And because of that, there is a problem also. If testing is not starting from the beginning of this uh, project, and if it is starting only after the implementation phase, what if uh, the testing team finds some mistakes in the re uh, requirement? Okay, the, uh, after, after the software has been developed by the developers in the implementation phase and given to the testing team for testing in the testing phase, if the testers find some defects related to some requirements or design, then what is the problem? It will take a lot of time and uh, it will increase the cost of uh, fixing the defects, okay? So if the testing was involved from the beginning of this waterfall model, if the mistakes were identified in the phases itself, the requirements phases itself or design phases itself, the problems would have been rectified there itself. The coding would not have been done with the false requirements or false designs, right? Here, Coding is also done with the false requirements and false designs and hence def defect fixing also uh, will take more time to fix because uh, in order to correct these uh, problems in the requirements, okay, the coding has to be changed again because already coding has been done with the false requirements and false designs. Hence, fixing the defects will take more time and also hence the cost of uh, fixing the defects also will rise here. This is what is the drawback if uh, testing starts, uh, doesn't start from the beginning and starts only after the implementation or any other phase in the projects. So this is what is a waterfall model guys at a high level, which is suitable for smaller projects still, okay? Despite of having the drawbacks also, waterfall model is suitable for smaller projects, okay? There's no problem in using this waterfall model with the smaller projects. So hope guys, uh, you understood what exactly is waterfall model in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.